Welcome to 2012. Congratulations. You successfully reached Rick it, Rick. Rub it up. I'll be your host, boss. No, I'm just joking. Rob. This show is about I just give my criticism on what silliness and stupidity is really out there, but also give credit where credit's due. Let's get it going. Story number one is that South Korean President Lee Myung Bak reached out in his New Year Day address to his people a message to North Korea government now led by Kim Jong Il's son Kim Jong Il, saying he has high hopes for a breakthrough this year in negotiation with North Korea's nuclear program. However, Lee warned that Seoul would respond sternly to any North Korean provocation. Relations between the two rival Koreans dropped to their lowest point in decades following the 2010 sinking of South Korea's warship that killed 46 sailors. Lee says that in regarding Kim Jong's death, portending a sea change for the fractured Korean peninsula. And he, to quote him, he said, North Korea comes forward with a sincere attitude. It will be possible for us to work together to open a new era. Sorry for the stupid accent. But basically, Mr. Lee Myung Bak isn't like hacking down from his already defensive stance. He is making sure that he, his guards are ready in case North Korea was to, hypothetically, let's just say, not agree with in North Korea's New Year message, which would be his first for Mr. Kim Jong Un. Uh, Sunday so didn't include the standard uh, bashing of the United States, which, which brings hope that maybe there might be some sort of negotiations between America and North Korea in regarding like a denuclearization in exchange for food. We all know that those North Koreans, millions, would love to get just a little bit more better food, which I really think is why I don't like Kim Jong Un. Ill, and I will continue to make fun of Kim Jong Un until he becomes a new leader that will actually step up and feed the starving and the thousands that are basically not even being treated like real humans. Story number two! A new island has appeared off the west coast of Yemen following a volcanic eruption. NASA said Friday that they have never seen an island appear in the Red Sea before. Now we have! Yay! The U.S. Space Agency Earth Observation posted satellite photos showing a plume of white smoke rising from the ocean near the Zambar group of islands in the Red Sea of December 23rd, obviously, of last year. Now, the image shows that there is an island had previously been has unbroken water surface. A thick plume rises from the island dark near the bottom, and light near the top, perhaps a mixture of volcanic ash and water vapor? Hmm, possibly. New islands are created by undersea volcanoes. However, they added that the volcanic material in the Red Sea tends to be more durable. So, there might be a new island. I was told by a very, very wise teacher growing up in high school that their two most prized possessions in this world aren't TNA. No siree. It's actually time and land because they aren't making any more of that. Get it? Alright. Either way, I would love to see just how and who wants to buy this. If it is up to grabs. And not only if someone buys it, but just how expensive does it get? Mind you, it isn't really confirmed that this won't sink, so scientists are just basically studying necessarily if it will be a new island or if it will basically sink like Russell Brand's career. Story number three! Yes, late breaking news. Russell Brand is an idiot, but a very rich idiot. Yes, he has, he has just broken up with Katy Perry. Dun, dun, dun. Either way, don't know what he was smoking. Not only did he break up with Katy Perry, but now he seems to be 
actually taking her money with them. It was reported on Friday the 30th. Katy Perry, known for such hits as Make me, take me, but the but the better, but the but the better. What's that song called? I don't know. I usually just watch Katy Perry's videos with the sound off and just stare at her beautifulness. In fact, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but Katy Perry's face looks a lot like Zoe De Chanel. Is it just me? I don't know. Put them side by side. I swear to God. It's like long lost twins. I do like to look at Katy Perry. <laughs> but really, what the heck was Russell Brand thinking? Was he just doing it for $31 million? Like, we all know you aren't going to have any really, really long career. We all know that. I know that. Your agent knows that. You might know it, but are in denial. Russell Brand brand came to us well was first noticed to me at the awesome movie forgetting sarah marshall where he pretty much played himself then we have last year's moderately good hit or should i say 2009s or 2010 sorry moderately good hit get him to the greek now i should add and that was the year that they met at the mtv music video awards according to my sources now, the reason why they did break up is due to the fact that Russell Brand was expecting Katie to bring her and her family to England to celebrate Christmas. But Russell must have said something not funny, which he must have thought was hilarious. And Katie said, F you, Brand X. And she, she just went to Hawaii, loved it. Had fun with her very deeply religious family. Her father used to be a pastor. What were you thinking, Bran? You butchered Arthur. And that was the final straw with me. It really was. This, this is just kind of insult to injury as far as I'm concerned. Not only did you kill my favorite, favorite Dudley Moore movie with its stupid 21st century remix of it, Arthur. I'm sorry, I don't even want to go see it. I'm pretty sure it's shit. Long story short, Miss Perry, we're sorry. On behalf of the male race, please don't become a lesbian and start kissing girls forever and ever. There's still hope for the male race, like me. Story number four, kinda. More like a quick update from past stories. Grammy winning blues and soul legend Ella James, famous for her hit song At Last, of course, everyone knows that song, has had her condition improve. I am a big fan of Ella James. I'm not going to start singing her a song. I'll save you guys from that. But she was suffering from leukemia and has been hospitalized at the Riverside Hospital in Los Angeles a week ago. She could stay there for several more days, but she could also be home in about a week. A final little update for this show is, just like last year, blackbirds have been seen falling yet again in the skies of Arkansas. Thousands of dead blackbirds have rained down on a town in central Arkansas last New Year's Eve after revelers set off fireworks that spooked them from the roost, and officials were reporting a similar occurred in Saturday as 2012 had rain in. Now, is this really just the fireworks? Because last year I didn't hear anything about the fireworks, and I just thought it was really scary because fish were all of a sudden popping up dead in lakes and oceans and all that other good stuff. This is two years in a row, and why didn't this happen three years in a row when revelers were enjoying New Year's Eve? But why over these past two years? That's our question for today. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, you've been doing with the best. Signing off for the first time in 2012. Keep on rocking in the free world.